Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and game engines are big, and getting bigger every single day, but did you know you're probably installing way too much? Your game engine install is probably a lot larger than it needs to be, so that's what we're going to look at today, shrinking those down. You may obviously know about this, probably the majority of you do, but for the handful of you that do not already know about these options, you're going to like head palm by the end of this, like, oh my god, really? So we're going to look at shrinking down the size of your install. Now I know you good Doe developers are sitting there smuggling in the back of the corner going, it's 50 megabytes. It doesn't need to get smaller. And yeah, I know. I'm not talking to Godot users today. What I'm talking to is Unreal and Unity users. And we're going to start off with Unreal Engine. Now, when you install Unreal Engine, I'll show you installing a, a version. So here we go. And, and most people come in, they click install. And, and this process isn't as straightforward as you think it would be. They go install. Okay, then install again. Well, the key thing that you're going to want to do, though, is click here. And this makes a gigantic difference in the install size. So you got a number of options here for things that you don't necessarily need. Um, for example, you don't need the source code for the majority of people. And by the way, you could come back in at any time. I'll show you in a second how you do this and add anything you need back. Do you need the templates and features and starter content? Maybe. Uh, these are like the chair and the, the default shaders and so on. So generally, there is use in keeping those things installed. But where are you kind of getting into? Oh, wow. Six and a half gigabytes of your machine is being used up if you've got the Android platform. Are you building for Android? If the answer is no, boom, you just got six gigs back. Ditto, iOS, six gigs back. Linux, nine gigs back. So this is installing the entire build and tool chain for all of those platforms. Are you building for any of those platforms? If not, boom, you just got over 20 to 25 gigs back in your install. So unclick all of those platforms. Uh, and the key thing here is, so we're now down to a seven gigabyte download size from uh, substantially larger to start. And the thing is, let me cancel out of this one and get rid of that uh, not install right there. So yeah, let's go away. So here I'm going to go look at uh, 4.27, and this is a full fat default install. Uh, you come in here, you click, and you go to options at any time whatsoever. And you come in here, and you can see the space that a default install is using up. And this is using up 44 gigabytes in size. Now, this is an already installed version of the engine. So if I decide I want to build for iOS or Linux or Android later on down the road, I just come back in here and check these off. Otherwise, I can get rid of them at any particular time. So if you are installing for platforms you are not building for, you are wasting a ton of space on your machine. Uh, same thing comes for uh, Unreal Engine 5. Same kind of setup. The big difference here is the base, the core itself, is about double to triple in size. So even this is a minimalist install uh, with no additional platforms. And here you're looking at 35 gigabytes. So for Unreal Engine 5, 35 gigabytes is about as small as as you can get it. Whereas if you're looking at the, the newest version, so 4.x, um, you can really shrink down. So the re required storage space for a full install, default install, is 44 gigabytes. But if we get rid of all of these platforms, as you are going to see, you're down to 20 gigabytes. So you can basically have the size of your Unreal Engine install without losing anything in terms of features and functionality. You can keep the source code in. It's 200 megabytes. It's not going to make a huge difference there. These three I would recommend keeping in. Uh, but again, until you need a platform, don't install it. So if you're if you're thinking, okay, well, I'm going to build for Android eventually, install Android when you need it. Until then, you don't need it. Boom, you're good to go. So I'm going to cancel out of here because uh, I'm going to keep my default install as it's going. But that there is Unreal Engine. It is way bigger by default than it needs to be. So that was the FYI there. And the same deal is actually true in the land of Unity. And you can also come back in and change these after the fact. Now, they don't make it immediately obvious that you can do this. Uh, but here we go. So here is the 2021 and 2020 installs. Uh, I installed a lot of game engines, so I should really start pruning these down. And I'm going to go here and say add modules. You can add any of these things back in after the fact. Now, it isn't as profound in size, uh, but still, you're looking, you're adding two gigabytes for Android, uh, two gigabytes for iOS, two gigabytes for tvOS, uh, and so on and so forth. And, and the default install installs a lot of this stuff. You're also kind of going to get into, like, if you're doing um, various different builds here, quite a bit more default space. Now, I do think Unity remembers. So let me come in here to one of the... Um, uh, okay, I'm going to install. And let's do go through that. So I think it actually remembers what your default is. So it's going from my settings. So right here, you're seeing it's only six and a half gigabytes for the install of a new version. It wants Visual Studio Community all the time, which is weird because I have it installed. So uh, we can get down to five gigs about that point in time. But you see here, if it's installing Visual Studio, uh, all the Android requirements, iOS, I think that is at least the defaults there. Mac and Windows, IL2CPP support there. Uh, 
it, it's that's the um, intermediate to CPP compiler. Again, that's really small in size, so that one really shouldn't be a big deal. But as you're seeing, you're up to 15 gigabytes in size for probably things that you don't need. And the key thing to know, again, when you're dealing with the Unity game engine, you don't need to do this up front. So if you're potentially going to be building for Android or iOS in the future or a Mac or Linux or whatever, add it when you need it. So once again, when you need to add these sizes into your engine, just basically go to your installs, uh, then click the little gear, go to add modules, and you can add it in at any time that you want it. So don't sweat those things. It's not a decision you need to make up front. And the vast majority of people aren't going to be building for those platforms initially. So you can add that in later on because you're probably going to be upgrading versions a handful of times in between, or you may just be checking out Unity itself. The default install for Unity is much, much larger than it needs to be. So you're looking, uh, you know, you can get it down to two gigabytes in size uh, quite simply uh, by just, you know, uh, pruning out the SDKs, etc., that you don't need. So obviously when we were dealing with the land of, uh, Unreal Engine, you've got so much more to gain here. You can basically drop about 20 to 30 gigabytes off your install, a little bit less so when you're dealing with the 5.x version. But again, you can really prune back uh, the options here because they do default install these huge tool chains to build for these platforms. And again, if you're not building for Linux, why are you installing 10 gigabytes worth of crap for it? Because that is the default. When you install a new install, on um, Unreal Engine, it has all these things enabled by default. So when you do the install, make sure that you check those off. And again, this process, in my humble opinion, isn't really that obvious. You would think you'd click down here and pick options, but no, you gotta drill down in here. And again, just get rid of all the stuff you don't want. You go from 33, I'm oh, sorry, from 40 to 33 to 19. So you can get your, gig, your game engines to be a lot smaller. Now again, I know we've got people sitting here in the back going, yeah, again, my Godot is like 100 megabytes, I know. But again, the tooling, the, the content, the amount of stuff that ships with these engines, the majority of the stuff that you're seeing there, it's actually more content driven in terms of the size. So, uh, and for those different platforms, um, it is the tool chains to build for them, the complete tool chains to work on as many devices as possible and so on. Uh, so when you do Android, you're getting the entire Android SDK, the NDK, um, all of the compilers and tools and stuff that you need there uh, are getting installed. But if you're not using those platforms, you're wasting space to install these. So your game engine is damn huge, but it probably doesn't have to be. So hopefully for a handful of you, that was a useful video. Uh, and if you're absolutely utterly constrained for space, it's quite simple. Uh, you're not going to get Unreal Engine to be much smaller than 20 gigabytes in size. You're not gonna get Unity to be much smaller than two gigabytes in size. So if that is a guiding factor in what game engine to choose, well, those are the limitations you're working with. But you can shrink each one's default install down to about 20% or 30% of what it is initially, and that is a pretty huge saving, especially in the world of SSD drives. So hopefully you found that useful. Let me know. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.